And uh, the Philippines now is, the, the number one expert in the Philippines now is uh, manpower. Everywhere you go, you will you see Filipinos. And because number one, they are not afraid to work. I don't know about Middle East. I don't know about America. I just heard about it. And I, I've heard that it's easier to go to Middle East rather than to America. At the same time, uh, it's, I've heard scary things about Middle East at the time. It was 30 some years ago. When they finish uh, school and they already have their diploma, they go abroad and find work to make both ends meet because they cannot survive and they have to work. And the children are left with the uh, nannies, I mean, uh, grandmothers or aunts. Well, my sister, the, the nurse, uh, back in, a, in the early 80s, she, uh, she uh, worked in Saudi Arabia. She actually worked there until 1990. In the late 90s, she she retired. I mean, she she worked there all her uh, career. So um, she has two kids too. Um, when they were growing up, they they stayed with my mother. That's the way it is in the Philippines. You stay with your grandparents. So she has uh, one boy and one girl. Because it's not easy to uh, when you just borrow the money for your plane fare and uh, some small amount to make you survive in the place where you will go and work as a domestic helper. It's not easy. And so you have to pay uh, whatever you borrow, pay. And before you pay, you can pay the amount. It will take you years. And so the children grew up without anybody at home and they, especially the grandparents now, they, they are the parents. They are the one bringing up the children, their grandkids. So, because life is really hard. Uh, after two kids, my husband planned to go to Saudi Arabia when my little girl is like three years old. He go there for a uh, contract for three years. So now he helped me a little bit financially. So from then, uh, after two years, he got another contract. So it end up, uh, he stayed there for four years. Because it's not easy when you go abroad and especially you are alone. I mean, uh, it's a very lonely life to be by your thinking that you are just by yourself in a place where you did not, you were not born and you did not grow up. You just go there when you are, when you are uh, working, especially when you don't see your families, your own families, leaving them behind, looking for a green and pasture. Uh, they said, why am I babysitting this child of other people, but I'm not? I don't have time for my own children. They grow up without seeing them. They just see them when they are already big, and sometimes the relationship was challenged. Um, since her two kids have graduated, her oldest is uh, a civil engineer. Um, he works in Dubai, and. Uh, the other one is also a nurse. She graduated from the University of Santo Tomas. Uh, she also works in Dubai. You know, the Filipinos, uh, although we did not tell them, oh yeah, we go to another country, work hard, and we'll provide, uh, we'll be helping. But that is the natural tendency of all Filipinos who come abroad to help out those relatives of ours back home.